Hey guys, in this video I will show you how you can download Python and install the IDE PyCharm on your Windows 10 or Mac or Linux PC. So without wasting any time, let's begin. First of all, we have to check if Python or PyCharm is already installed in your PC or not. So in the search bar, just search for uninstall and here you can see the add or remove program. Click on this setting and in this list just search for python here you can see nothing shows up because i have not installed python on this pc and pycharm so if something shows up here first of all uninstall pycharm and python from here then proceed with this video so first of all i will download python just search for python in your browser and open this website python.org from here go to downloads and if you're using the windows os just click on download python 3.9.0 now this is the latest version of python and it might be different for you depending on the time you are watching this video if you're using linux or mac os you can choose this option once you click on download, the python file will start downloading in your PC. Once the download is completed, go to your downloads folder and open the python setup file. Make sure to checkbox this option, add python 3.9 to path and click on install now. Make sure to not change the path where the python is installed. The, the default path will be correct. Once the python has been installed, click on the close button and go to your search bar and search for cmd. Now we will check if the python has been installed in our pc or not. Just type python hyphen hyphen version Here you can see python 3.9.0 this means that python has been installed in our pc now now i will install pycharm ide so we can run python programs just search for pycharm and from here www.jetprince.com this is the official website of pycharm ide open the website and click on the download button. Here you can see two versions of the IDE. Basically one is the free version of the software and the other one is the paid version of the software. I will choose the community version. Just click on download and your download will start. It will take some time to download the software because it is approximately 300 MB. I will pause this video now and resume it once the software has been downloaded. So once the download has been finished, you can run the file from here or go to the downloads folder and open pycharm setup. Now this will open the pycharm setup. Click on next, again click on next and from here you can check box this option which is the desktop shortcut and this option dot by which will essentially uh, which will essentially associate all files that are ending with dot by in your pc with, with this ide. So whenever you will open a file that is having the extension of .py, it will automatically open the file in this IDE. Now after this click on next and click on install. So once the installation has been finished, click on finish. 
Now let's run the IDE and I will create a python program to let you know how it works. Checkbox this option and click on continue. And from here you can actually select the light theme or the dark theme. Instead of clicking on featured plugins, just click on skip remaining and set defaults. If you know about the plugins and you want to install the plugins you want, uh, you can always do that later on from the IDE. Now this will open the IDE. Just click on new project to create a new project. And from here you can name your project anything you want. Now if you don't know about the environment and the interpreters, just click on this option existing interpreter and from here click on the three dots at the side of this and now select system interpreter from here. Now it will automatically fill this bar from here. Once that's done, now click on OK and click on create. Before we actually create the python program, I will show you how to set these settings to default. So whenever you create a new python project, you don't have to do it manually every time from there. Now to make those interpreter settings default, click on file and click on new project settings. Here click on settings for new projects and from here click on python interpreter. Now click on this option from here and click on this python 3.9. This will set the interpreter settings to system interpreter for all of your new projects. And now click on ok to save these settings. Now I will actually run a python program to show you how it works. You can just remove this here. I will create a simple print program which will print the output. Now once you have created this program, you can either run this file from here in the top right corner or if you have multiple files, you can go to that file and click on right button and choose run from here. Here you can see, here you will see the output of the program. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and thanks for watching.